Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to look at how we can reset or restart our game by pressing the escape key. Stay tuned. Now, the first thing we're going to do in here is we're going to be making a method. And this method is going to be used to restart or to reset our game. All right, so let's get going with that one. All right, so I'm going to just do it right about here. Let's do it. Let's do it above college. All right, this comes. All right, should be fine here. All right, so. Or if we want to call it a restart. So if we want to restart the game, this is what we're going to do. So the idea here is that um, we're going to remove the pins from the screen. All right, so we're going to remove them, we're going to clear them. And um, we're also going to empty the, the, the list of pins that we, we generated. So we, currently we have a list in which we store the pins. So once you reset the game, the pins will be destroyed. Um, the pins will be removed from the screen. The pins will be removed from the list. And we can also decide whether or not we want to reset the score from it to zero or whatever you want, want it to be. All right. So let's go. All right, so we are going to say um, reset game. All right, so, so to reset the game, remember we have a certain amount of pins, and these pins are stored in the pins list. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to traverse through the list by using our Or in loops, I'm going to say for pin in pins. So I'm going to be going through. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear each pin. So I'm going to say pin that clear. And then I'm going to hide the turtles. And then what I'm going to do is after I hide the turtles and I clear, clear the pins, hide the turtles, the next thing that I'm going to do in outside of the loop is I'm going to empty the list. So I'm going to empty the list. Right. Also, even though this loop is going through, clearing the turtles from the screen, hiding them, um, we have to empty the list because if you don't empty the list, what's going to happen is that the pins will still be in the list. All right, and if the pins are still in the list, uh, then um, the coordinates will still be checked. And even though you may not have any pins, Visible on the screen at those coordinates, the game will still record a collision and the player will be scored for those points. All right, when that's not the case. All right. So here we go. All right. Hope you're having fun coding. All right, so to empty the list, the, the list is called pins. I say pins at clear. And uh, once we have cleared the pins from the list, um, so we are resetting the game. It therefore mean that we can we, we will no longer have any pins on the game. So let me just I'm gonna run the program so you can actually see what I'm talking about. All right. But before I run it, I'm going to bind the, do the keyboard binding. Um, 
the key that I want to use to reset the game, I'm going to be using the escape key. If the user hits escape, I want it to reset the game. So I'm going to call the reset game on escape. Let's say turtle. On key press. Uh, right, so let's call it reset. So game. And the key is escape. Right. So the escape key is what we are using to reset our game. So once the escape key is pressed, we expect the game to reset. All right. So let's just look at what happens when we reset our game. All right, so here it is. So this is how the system populates the game now. But if I press escape, so I press escape, you notice all the pins are gone. So what I want to happen is that when you reset the game, having removed the pins, what I want to happen is that uh, I want to invoke or add pin method. Therefore, it will add back a different set of pins. All right, so I want to just get back to reset. It's right here. Okay, you have cleared the pins. The next thing that you'd want to do is to just add back some pins. And of course, that will take care of it for you. That should add back some pins. I can continue it again. All right, so here we go. All right, so. All right, so if at any point you feel like resetting, just press escape. And it will add them. All right. All right, good. So the next thing that one may want to do is um, when you reset, we also want to reset the score, all right? So let's reset the score. Um, that is, we're gonna set the score back to zero, all right? So let's do that. All right, so similarly to what we have here, all right, so it would pretty much be changing the point, changing the point here, um, back to zero from whatever it is. All right, so, and after changing that, we would of course want to just rewrite or repaint on the screen with what is here. All right, so let's go. All right, so we're just gonna indicate that we're dealing with the, the global points. All right. And then what we're gonna do now is we are just going to clear the score and set the score here. That's the points. So the points to zero since we have reset it. And then we uh, clear the score. What's that? Next, we just rewrite this. All right. So it's going to be score that clear, score that right. And um, let's see what's going on. I'm going to press escape. 
as you can see, automatically the score changes to zero. All right, so thank you all for watching. So we have just completed a section of our bowling game. I hope you had as much fun as I had um, doing this video. Um, stay tuned for others in the series as we look at how we may improve this game and create other games together. Have fun coding. God bless you.